And when the anger comes, nothing is, you don't smile at anything. Nothing moves you. Comedy, nonsense. Everything they are doing is zero. The Bible says, be angry and sin not. <laughs> if only you will get this, then you know that there's one, there's one venue that subsides your anger. By force. No matter how your boss makes you angry, your friend, as you just enter Transformers camp. Yeah. No matter what. Shalom, shalom, Pastor. Uh, sister, uh, can't you greet me? Pastor, I've greeted you now. When did you greet? Pastor, greet Why are you arguing? Is the greeting a bank account? Just redo it. Pastor, I've greeted. You have already used like 60 words. Whereas greeting is shalom, one word. <laughs> I don't know. Pastor, I greeted you. Pastor, ask, ask him. Did you hear that when I greeted him? When I greeted Pastor, I greeted you. Ask him. Ask her. What, what minute thou? Ah. Ha, ya, 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 ya. <laughs> Listen, the right mindset to be a Christian is the most easy thing. Yes. Just, just behave foolish. That's how God will be looking for you. The foolish things to confound those who claim. Then, the disguised angel on the part of preachers, it has finished the work. Because members have refused to understand the word of God for themselves first. The Bible says, this is how you will know them. You will know them by their dressing. Okay, I will tell you them when you pray. If you fast three days, three nights, you jog, and you are serious about the matter, I will reveal the false prophet to you. Surprisingly, God will never tell you who is fake or who is real. If he does, he has gone against his words. Somebody say, God, reveal to me. You know, there are babes vision that you shouldn't copy. So the, the, the falling, the falling, listen, the Bible calls this guy falling angel. He, his name ends with angel. Oh, the Bible says, oh, Lucifer, son of the morning star. See his description. Morning star. First of all, stars don't shine in the morning. So if he can shine in the morning, he's that powerful. But he called him Lucifer. Then he didn't call him Satan. That's the meaning of Lucifer. Brightness. <laughs> so he still has that name. That's his son's name. He came from heaven. He holds Mike. And then you are struggling to know who is fake and who is real. Okay, let me show you something. With me. Can you imagine Trevor is sitting in the crowd now. It's his son. And uh, Julius. Protocol is sitting in the crowd. And both of them are in two different roles, which is two different countries or two different uh, tribes. And they are watching this TV. Whew. I want to know if this man is a man of God. And they, they watch the man, watch the man, watch the man, watch the man, watch the man. He's not. Julius said he is. Julius going to the church. Trevor did not go. Trevor changed, changed, changed channel, changed channel. And they went to another TV, was watching the man. Say so this man is. The issue is that which judgment? Who said so? Who said this man is real? Is this the same head? If is this your head, who has not known Christ? I want to know who is real. There should be the real man first. <laughs> so, no, you didn't get me. Can you imagine a guy who has failed GC four times and said this school doesn't teach well? How did you know? We have never passed anything. So who judges that this man is fake? The guy who has not known Christ in the world, in the market, is the one telling you that your service is too much. With what knowledge? What have you done successful, spiritually? You say, leave it, it's not by success. No. Show me what you have done. Nothing. Then what do you want to tell me? 
Somebody said we have to listen to elderly people. They came before us. They have something to say. Yes, which made them poor. <laughs> How can you be elderly without proof? Longevity in medication doesn't make you a medical doctor. <laughs> you have just taken drugs too much. How can you take drugs too much? They want to teach somebody. In fact, is there too much drugs that you will teach the person to be taking too much drugs? <laughs> because that's what you have been doing. It means the former ones, you don't even know how to prescribe. It doesn't work. You're not a doctor. There are some small guys. When David, when Leah Lutala, can't you see it? When David met, go, when met Saul, he didn't, he, 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 he disarmed Saul with proof. He said, I've killed lion and bear. You don't, you don't come to the king with, with suggestion. You come with proofs. <laughs> Proof. I've killed lion with my hand. He said, so, go for Goliath. He don't come and say, I can kill Goliath. He said, go home, boy. <laughs> no, listen to them who have caused changes ahead. They're the ones who make your journey shorter. Shorter with stress. That's what I mean, right? Not shorter with your life. That means you have less stress and huge success. Check the guys who have succeeded. Take the things they have. Put your little one. You fly. You are a friend to the pilot, but you don't see. You will not see the inside. This <laughs> knowledge differentiate both of you. Though you are friends, I don't know if I'm speaking to somebody. So now. I'm going somewhere. You want to dictate the man of God who is not real and who is real? First of all, dictate who you are first. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I don't know if I'm communicating. Yes, Go to the natural world of life. Any machine that detects counterfeit must first walk. So you don't just start using, you check it, you check the machine first. You put it on the light, it's not showing that purple light. You leave the counterfeit and first fix the machine. Jesus said the problem is not the sea and the breeze. It's you. When he woke up, they said, Master, you want to allow us to perish? He did not rebuke. The sea was still making like that. He allowed the sea and first rebuked them. <laughs> oh, you of little faith. Have I been with you this while? You cannot even know how to demonstrate. Are you mad? When he finished rebuking them, he said, okay, now see. So it means the main problem is who? These guys. So the guy who advised you, you have to scan him first. You say, I've heard, I've heard. Meaning, if you don't have proof, you will not be heard. Now, if works can back you up, that doesn't mean everybody who does work is backed up. That's where the difficulty is. Am I communicating? One thing God gave, he said, to know the right prophet is by studying. You studying. That's why he calls it fruit. You can't know fruit until you have had it. There are some of you. Now, <laughs> I touched 19 people. 19? Yes. You can't know fruit until you have had, you have had fruit. So you'll never know the right guys until you yourself become right with God. <laughs> what you call men of God are not what they are. Yes, it's you who don't know who you are. Yes, ah, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Malia Galo, my son, study. Dividing the word of truth, the work man is not to be ashamed. Rightly divine, you must study to show yourself approved. So, what do you have inside? What is the dictator machine you have? Who confirmed it? Which organization? I O U or I L O? So, where do you belong? To tell me that this is okay, it's what you have. Now, the Bible says, by fruit you shall know them. If by fruit is what you take to know them, who? Oh, that means I have to go and sit down and study the fruit before I look at a man who doesn't have it. And surprisingly, the whole fruit has been compressed and put into fruit juice called love. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Easy. So, if you have studied what is called love, what is called love is every, every preacher preaches love. Three quarter don't act it. The worst is the fake members. Fake members say they love. Love until you give them something. If you don't give them something, you are wicked. You pass exam, you still give them something. 
you have the day, you are the one giving them something. You want to travel abroad, you give them something. There's never a time there's something come to from them to you. No. All the time they are asking. I don't know who, who God I said. So for the side of love, when you know what is love, love is not said. And when I say love is acted, love is not giving items. You have never heard this. Oh, listen, love is all about giving. God so loved the one he gave his son. Listen, if you don't have, you have not given your somebody something, you don't love him. Love is not giving an item. I said love is not giving an item. When you go to courtism, you need to give somebody. When you join, any, in fact, when you join any, any court, you need to offer something either your life or something you offer you offer something so love is not about giving at times you think some people who have been there they give it and they are still angry they weep that their wife had died so is that love god so loved the word he became available love is not about giving it's about being available <laughs> If you are available, you will not just give items, which giving items is very vital. You give your life to the one you love. You'll be available. God so loved, he gave him son, which is himself. So he became available because he so loved the world. God could have so be love in the world and give money for us to solve our issue. I don't know who is getting me here. So giving is wonderful. But don't think that that's love. What is love? Love is when you have met, you have met some group of people and somebody is about to back out. See how some of you give items and walk in hatred. You have heard that this sister has preached word of life or the brother who preached last week preached word of life and it was wonderful. It was wonderful. You met your roommate or your classmate or your office mate. The show. I'm telling you, there's an attitude you use, you get the reason. You have to understand that this thing like this, you have people who fight you from everywhere, who are ordained to fight you, for you to grow. That's a test of a part of the fruit of the spirit, which you failed. So how would they test you now? Since you want everything to be fine, how would they test you? You came to church. Somebody has suffered to leave the well. Has to leave the well. You come to church and then you meet bad, bad members. Who should test you? Should you be in GBHS? They test you in PHS. Your exam should still come from the teacher who loved you before. Now he says, sit down there. That's it. You cannot be in church and you are tested in a bar. You will never go there. Because it needs to be done for your work to be ticked. I don't know why my leader in the, uh, the choir, she's gossiping about me. She's too wicked, very strict. It's only me, eh? when I come late, she tells me to go out. You have, no, you have not noticed it. Yeah, she's ordained, it's good, it's nice. Thank God for her. Why do people keep telling my own story? I don't want your own story. The apostles have really suffered. You only want me to, you want to have that kind of car, but you don't like the road I passed. If everybody praises you, you never move one step. One step. Many cables that has always positive will not put the bulb on. You need one negative. <laughs> I don't know if I'm communicating. <laughs> Do you know why the first cameras that came have what they call negative before they bring you the picture? Because if you look at the negative, it's upside down. But forget about that. Follow the process. It will bring you the right image. Negatives don't have color. But they produce. This wrong, this wrong, this falling, these disguised angels, they will come and hold a microphone and the Bible, listen, if I want to show another way to understand these things, follow Jesus. The way he lived, the, the things he said, the things he did, 
one issue to dictate a man who operates by love is love. If you love, you won't kill. Someone said, what if he's your enemy? That is where there is love. What if somebody who has said he will kill you, he will go to a native doctor. If the person truly go to a native doctor and kill you, you were not in Christ. Should I go deeper? Should I assume you understand me? How can you hear that? It's not for everybody. Please, this one is too high, right? How can you hear that? Madame Josephine, who lives in the village, who is a renowned killer in the spirit, has written your name in a paper that you are going to die. And you went for prayer that, oh God, Madame Josephine should die now. Let her die. All her colleagues die. Madame Josephine is not the person. Very simple. We wrestle not against Madame Josephine. That's application of love. Love is not needed when you can bear it. So if they push you to the wall and you, you, you have already been a cat, now they push you to the wall, you could not take it again, you fly. You understand the parable I'm giving here? You are not a cat. How can because they push you to the world for a long while, that's why you acted like that? That's what you have been. They just tested it out. He said, the reason why I said it is because it is too much. Yeah, that's who you are. <laughs> you have been a silent speaker all this while, so you just spoke. Am I speaking to somebody? So this guy now cannot just hold himself. He wants to kill Madame Josephine. If truly Madame Josephine went to her shrine, put your picture and they started speaking i said wherever you are appear if he still appears is truly because he's not in christ the bible says you if truly is you as for me i'm the one you are the very the, you know what is the apple is what gives sight to the eye is that true sir some people's eyes are open but the apple is bad so they don't see they do like this. So they have eye, but they don't have the apple inside. God said, you are the very apple of my eyes. And God will see later the devil come and pluck you out. You got me. If you are soaked and lost to him, your prayer point changes. You become a bona fide worshiper. So whatever they are doing, you won't even know. Until they come and confess that six years ago we have been trying to yesterday. All of us have died. He said, well, let me alone. He said, what have you been trying? We have been trying to kill you more than 50,000 times. Ah, uh ah. -uh. That is where I am. That's the level we should operate. I told you, if you two of you keep fighting, who will know that he has won? He's the referee. I prefer to be the referee, man. In this aspect. Who is got what I'm saying here? Malia Gaza. Etete Buzi. I'm moving forward because I have a different mindset. So easy. I want to know a disguised angel. I humble myself and start opening the word of God. As you keep opening the word of God, the truth will be unveiled to you. Somehow you have a note where confirmation is ringing. When the writing is said, it may bang, ring, ring, because of the knowledge of God's word. Then you don't even have need that some goats talk to you again. Praise God. Second Samuel 15 verse 10. But Absalom sent spies throughout all tribes of Israel saying, As soon as you hear the sound of the trumpet, then you shall say, Absalom reigned in Hebron when David is still alive. You have now started your own cell. Do you know that some, some people who have terrible cell name? Ghost members. You came to the ministry and discovered that many people are using Greek name and so on and so forth. You just came out with one wonderful name. The Zion Brothers. <laughs> it's like you want to start a cultic group. <laughs> Why are you abstract? You thought that being abstract in that sense 
is attracting the spirit of God. Why? Just see Absalom now. Absalom is a son, the very biological son to David the king, made by God through the anointing of Samuel. Who is here? And now Absalom, his son, has passed a decree that when you hear the trumpet, everybody should bow down and say what? Absalom reigned in Hebron. And with Absalom went 200 men out of Israel or Jerusalem. People will follow heresy. Have you heard that when some people leave the church, they don't leave alone. They gather people. But the nice thing is that that gathering has, since Genesis, it has never succeeded. If truly it's against a man of God. Except it's against a brother. And when Absalom went 200 men out of Israel that were called and they went in their simplicity and they knew not anything. Some people joined those kind of groups without knowing. So 200 men followed Absalom without knowing anything. They were innocent. Why did they follow Absalom? Because they saw that Absalom had been close to David. So Absalom being close to David and if Absalom is acting like this, he needs followers, they will follow. Thinking that is still the former Absalom. Okay. Now in verse 12, and Absalom sent for Ahitophel, the Gilonite. He sent for Ahitophel. Who was Ahitophel? Ahitophel is a guy, God speaks to David, and David shared the idea with Ahitophel. Ahitophel was David's counselor. He tells David the right thing to do, and all what he has ever told David landed in success. So David made him a big man in Jerusalem. So here is a counselor, presidential advisor, for a long 15 years. And when he came, and Absalom sent for Ahitophel, the Gilonite, David's counselor. From his city, even from Gilo, where they offered sacrifices. And, and the conspiracy they had was strong. For the people increased continually with Absalom. He had followers. I'm going somewhere. And there came a messenger to David saying, The heart of the men of Israel are after Absalom. And David said unto all the servants that were with him at Jerusalem, Arise and let us flee. I don't fight. For we shall not else escape from Absalom. Make speed to depart, lest he overtake us suddenly and bring evil upon us. And smite the city with the edge of the sword. And the king's servant said unto the king, Behold, thy servants are ready to do whatsoever my lord king has appointed. There are some who will always be for the right thing. Amen? The king went forward, verse 16, and all his household after him. And the king left ten women, which were concubines, to keep the house. And the king went forth, and all the people after him, and tarried in a place that was afar off. And all his servants passed on beside him and all the charitites and so on and so forth and so on let's go to verse 34 okay but if thou return to the city and say unto Absalom I will be thy servant O king as I have been thy father's servant hitherto so will I now also be thy servant then mayest thou be, or for me, defeat the counsel of Ahitophel. And hast thou not there with the Zadok and all the priests? Let's rush down now to <laughs> uh, verse 37. So Hushia, David's friend, came into the city, and Absalom came into Jerusalem. Let's go to Second Samuel 16. Are you there? Chapter 16, verse... Verse 20. Are you there? Yes. Let's read. Now, before that verse 20, something had happened. Verse 21 says, And Ahitophel said unto Absalom, Go into the father's concubine. He gave counsel and gave counsel. But I want to show you how David has already made a prayer. Uh, let's rush down to chapter 15, 30. Right? Are you there? One, two, three, go. And David went up by the ascent of Mount Olivet and wept as he went up and had his head covered. And he went before, and all the people that was with him covered every man his head. And they went up, weeping as they went up. Then verse 31, one, two, three, go. And one told David, saying, Ahutophel is among the conspirators with Absalom. And 
And David said, O oh Lord, I pray thee, turn the counsel of Ahitophel into foolishness. The fact that you advise the man of God doesn't make you a man of God. David had been listening to Ahitophel, but Ahitophel never knew that God, David can tell God to make his counsel of no effect. David said, oh God, turn his counsel of no effect. So if you read chapter 17, chapter 16, downward 17, the Bible says Ahitophel gave the counsel until the people were the ones saying that this counsel is not working. Then one understood and said, I'm very sure God is making his counsel of no effect so that, Israel, so that we should not overcome David. They had to choose another man. That's fake member. He's with everybody. Am I speaking to somebody? Yes, sir. If you don't know how to dictate these members have told you, how to know the disguised angel, you're in trouble. The Bible says, Behold of dogs, they are in church. In Philippians, he said, They are in church. They fool beasted people. They give you the mindset, thinking that. The Bible said the hour coming that men will kill you. Thinking that they do a God service. Ah, 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 ah. He didn't say pretending that they are doing God service. They think they are doing God service, but they are killing you. Say so they will put you out of the synagogue, killing you, thinking they are doing God service. D -d Demonic advices. But when you, when you understand who you are, you can, you can hear Leslie speak, and you just know his level. He said, no, it's okay, that's true, you're right. You don't contradict that, contradict what he said. You just allow him. That's his lower level. Some of us don't bind demons. Because when we enter, they leave. That's another level. Am I speaking? Choose your friends. Choose a man of God. And when you have seen one, whole lamb. When you locate, you hold. The Bible says, until you see the day star. <laughs> oh, Malaya, Garate, Zula, Ara, Dose, Hadas. There are some things that are unchangeable. When you discover a father is a father, the devil will be able to get you. No matter how you grow, Eli is a priest. He said, go and hear God and come and submit. He didn't get that. Eli said, go. God will talk to you, but not me and me for interpreter. I'll tell you what to do. So he went ahead, God, and came and told the guy, Father is Father. When you hear what I want to say, very soon in your cell, do you know why? Ma baria gatu, gazezega. If only they will get this one before you go. See, God has not dropped, not because you are not fasting. There's no trust yet. I'll show you. Should I show you? Yes, See. <laughs> ah, so many things that it was. Uh, well. It's simple. I said it's simple. This one is customized. What I want to tell you now is customized. It's not for Christian in the world. It's customized for you alone. So why are they hearing it? Okay. Focus on your man of God. Love him to a fault. Live and so. Just watch heaven. You see direct supply to you. Biblically proven. Some people will meet you with the right words and tell Elisha that. Have your master told you that? We had a vision. Has a master told you that he's about to be taken today? If you love your man of God, Elisha told the prophet that hold your peace. My man of God is never wrong. That's what, is that not what Elisha said? He said, hold your peace. They came and gave true, true prophecy. So, listen, I didn't say it's a lie. You are just in a car. You have a church you worship. You are under this apostle. And somebody just met you and said, I have a vision. He said, well, God bless you. He said, well, yeah, my man of God told you to come and tell you. He said, no. I was just seeing this guy. I saw it. He said, I've seen it. He said, no, I've not told you. I said, I've seen it. Yeah, I've seen it. We see before Nebuchadnezzar. I've seen it. You are calling me Nebuchadnezzar? No, you don't understand this thing. So I should not tell the vision. He said, no. 
don't bother. God doesn't show you some vision which he has already handled. He's getting me now. That's good. In the name of Jesus. Amen. The word I've spoken to you have entered your spirit. Amen. And they are producing result. Amen. In Jesus name. Amen. To get a copy of this message, dial plus 237-652-848-668. You can also email us at infos at ltminternational.org.